I'm Steve Mango. I generally work in facilities every Wednesday, but I've also uh, been doing a lot of tours. I do special events. I do special errands with the chimp truck. Do just about everything, but my, my primary role is in uh, facilities, and I've been volunteering here since uh, early 2019, so that's five years. Okay, well, in facilities, which is my primary role here, it's something different every day. It's not a cookie cutter job. In fact, that's what I like about it. One day I might be repairing something. Another day I might be building something. I might be doing some electrical work, uh, plumbing work, you know, you name it. It's always something different. I drive the big tractor. I drive the chimp truck. I go down to uh, Woodstock near Atlanta and I pick up wood wool for the chimps. I go get chimp chow and so on. In addition to that, you know, I work a lot of the events and I do a lot of the tours because, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the sanctuary, with the operation. I know quite a bit about it and I kind of like to see the, uh, the reaction of the guests when they, when they see the chimps for the first time and they, uh, they get all excited. So I like doing the tours as well. Well, uh, I'm not sure which is the most common one, but one that I hear a lot is, oh wow, I didn't realize they were so big. Uh, these chimps, these are mostly adult chimps. When you see a chimp on a TV show or a movie and they're being cuddled or held by a human being, those chimps were probably raised from infants. And uh, that's not the case here. These are mature chimps and they're not to be reckoned with, so there's no human contact, of course, between humans and chimps. One of my fondest memories is of a couple of years ago when I had the pleasure and honor of going in the chimp transport trailer down to uh, New Iberia Research Center in Louisiana and picking up a, uh, a group of chimps. That's the time that we got the five adult females which we needed in order to, uh, to corral a bunch of uh, males that were misbehaving. So they needed to be put in line. We went and picked up five adult females and brought them back here to put those males in line. But a chimp transport is a pretty humbling thing. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty intricate operation. We go down there, it takes about 14 hours or so to get there. We stay overnight, we load the chimps Actually, the research center loads the chimps into the trailer about six o'clock in the morning, and then we drive the whole way back 13 or 14 hours, not getting here until 9.30 or so at night. And uh, I had the pleasure and honor to be in, involved in one of those transports as a driver.